October 23rd, China's Ministry of State Security released a report revealed intelligence agencies from some countries failed to steal China's space technology, specifically linked to remote sensing satellites. Coincidentally, just a month prior, the U.S. has admitted its defeat to China in the Olympic of Satellite Technology. However, a statement from a senior U.S. intelligence official indicates that the U.S. remains unaware of the true reasons behind its setbacks. In this episode, we will uncover the secret why China is winning the space race. On October 1st, China was crowned the dual champion in the 2024 Commercial Remote Sensing Global Rankings, leading both the overall medal and gold medal tallies, while the U.S. finished in the second place. The judges for the competition were exclusively from the U.S., organized by the analysts from the Center of Strategic and International Studies, the Taylor Geospatial Institute, the Taylor Geospatial Engine, and the United States Geospatial Intelligence Foundation. The event featured 11 subcategories. China's winning project included Earth Observation Imaging, Earth Observation Revisit Period, C-band Synthetic Aperture Radar, Long Wave Infrared Imaging, and multispectral imaging. All five projects in which China excelled all possesses significant military intelligence value. Earth observation imaging is perhaps the most recognized type of remote sensing, often understood as capturing photographs of the Earth from space. This process employs high-resolution cameras to observe surface features, akin to the experiences users have with Google Earth. Utilizing obstacle sensors, satellites can directly monitor the locations of airports, ports, and military bases, representing a traditional and straightforward from the satellite military intelligence. China's success in this project signifies that its satellites are capable of producing the clearest image of the planet. The satellite revisit period refers to how often a satellite network can scan the same location within a given time frame. This capability holds immense value for military command, as a higher revisit frequency means more up-to-date information on enemy troop positions. This enables the Chinese military to respond more swiftly to enemy movements, either advancing or retreating, and even to use missiles or long-range rocket artillery to target troop assembly areas before engagement. China's triumph on this category demonstrates that its satellite network can monitor the Earth's surface with the highest frequency. In remote sensing, relying solely on optical sensors limits the ability to capture images on cloudy or rainy days. However, China's winning technology in C-band synthetic aperture radar effectively addresses this limitation. C-band SAR transmissions microwave signals within the C-band frequency range and receives reflected waves to generate high-resolution images. This radar technology can penetrate cloud cover, ensuring that surface images are still captured even in adverse weather conditions. China's success in this area demonstrates that its satellites can produce the most precious microwave images. Long wave infrared imaging, which can be described as thermal imaging technology, is particularly useful for the nighttime reconnaissance. According to the US Space Command, the space based infrared system also provides missile warning information to intelligence agencies. China has now achieved world champion status in this technology. The final project in which China excelled is multispectral imaging, which allows a single sensor to capture data across multiple wavelength ranges simultaneously. This technology is available for assessing vegetation, soil, and hydrological conditions in an area. Such information is crucial for commanders during landing operations and jungle warfare. Following the official announcement of the computation results and the release of a detailed assessment report of the CSAS, former U.S. Deputy Director of National Intelligence, Sue Gordon, emphasized that it is far from enough to expect market forces to drive progress in the aerospace industry. She believes the U.S. intelligence community should take cues from NASA and develop essential technologies through official funding. U.S. officials with the key to China's success in aerospace as government investment. However, there's a Chinese satellite company at the awards suggests that this conclusion may be too narrow-minded. Of the 14 medals awarded to China, 
Over one third was earned by the Jilin One series developed by Changguang Satellite Technology. Changguang is China's first commercial remote sensing satellite company, jointly funded by the Jilin Provincial Government, the Changchun Institute of Optics, Chinese Academy of Science, and private capital. From the perspective of funding sources, well, there is indeed government investment. However, what Su Golden Field recognized is the Jilin One series satellites were not developed for military intelligence purpose at the first place. This network, which comprises 130 satellites, was originally designed to support domestic farmers and businesses. For example, the award-winning Jilin One video model was developed to prevent fires in farmland and forests. In everyday use, these satellites also assist fishermen in avoiding typhoons and monitoring construction progress. The Olympic Stadium in Turkmenistan benefited from the services of Jilin One Video during its construction. Another award-winning model, Jilin One GP01 and 02, known in Chinese as Forest and Grass One, Jilin Lincao Yi Hao, is used to monitor humanity, pest levels, and desertification levels. This diversity of functions explains why the Jilin One series satellites are equipped with numerous sensors as these applications require comprehensive analysis across multiple types of remote sensing data. Therefore, the limitations of Sue Gordon's conclusion are becoming clear. The full name of this competition is the Commercial Remote Sensing Global Rankings. And in the commercial sector, consumer feedback is essential for improving products and advancing technologies. If companies are unaware of consumer dissatisfaction, how can they make meaningful improvements? This dynamic is why, in the last century, Western countries consistently lied in industrial software, because these companies could gather feedback from manufacturers worldwide, while Chinese manufacturers also tend to adopt these more mature industrial systems, fostering a positive cycle. The same reasoning applies to how China can support the U.S. in the satellite field. If U.S. satellite technology were to operate as Sue Gordon's inventions, primarily serving the U.S. military and intelligence agencies. Then, it would be limited to feedback from around 3 million American soldiers. In contrast, China's GD-1 satellites can gather insights from 750 million farmers and 170 million businesses. Moreover, the U.S. cannot engage in warfare every day. However, Chinese farmers and businesses are actively involved in agriculture and commerce on a daily basis. While well, American soldiers might exaggerate their achievements by falsely claiming for targets destroyed by satellite-guarded bombs, which farmer would fabricate stories about their fields being burned to promote a satellite company? Thus, it can be argued that the technological age of Chinese satellites is a byproduct of serving the people. Unfortunately, this insight seems lacking in the statements of U.S. officials. In response, Chinese strategists Professor Wang Xiangsui emphasizes that utilizing aerospace technology for the benefit of humanity represents a greater and more competitive goal than merely attacking other countries. Just as the Olympic motto promotes faster, higher, stronger, together, the combination in satellite technology should aspire to foster peaceful development for all of humanity. 姐妹们总烦恼脸上细纹、干燥与暗沉，现在起跟我一起放心交给 KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列。KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列，它添加五种 EGF， 专门防止肌肤老化，强化皮肤修复，增加肌肤弹性水嫩，轻松抚平皱纹，换回青春自信。KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹，果肤露全效精华，精华霜，即刻启动冻龄密码。<音>